We are again in Colorado, about 6,000 foot elevation. Today we're looking at the Aves Con Color or the White Fur. Uh, this is a spectacular specimen that we've got here. Typically this tree will be about probably maturing out at 40 feet maximum. This particular one is closer to the 70 foot range, but it does give you a good representation of what this tree would look like. The white fir leaves are needle-like, two to three inches long, silvery blue uh, or greenish in color, and extend at nearly right angles from all sides of the twigs. Since this is one of our firs again, the needles are going to be flattened as opposed to the spruce trees which have more of a pointy or, or sided needle, so it's going to be a two-sided flat needle. They also have a, a rounded tip to it. The cone's uh, production varies by site and tree size and age, and the white fir trees don't even begin the cone production until they're 40 years old. The interesting thing about the true firs, as opposed to the Douglas fir, is that the cones actually grow upward in the canopy and don't actually fall from the trees. Cones, as they mature, will actually start falling apart in the, in the fall month time frame. Cones are 10 to 13 centimeters, which will be about uh, two and a half to four inches long. They're greenish yellow in color, and as they mature become a dark purple color. So again, if you look up in the canopy of these of this uh, white fur, you may see these large purplish black cones pointing upward in the canopy. That would be the, the cone. It's not some kind of disease going on there. The cones produce approximately 200 to 300 seeds each year. And again, as I mentioned, they will shatter or start falling apart upon maturity and sprinkle the seeds down into the understory if the squirrels don't get the seeds first. The bark on the white fir is smooth, whitish gray, and occasionally will become blistered as a tree matures, becoming thick, hard, and sometimes irregularly furrowed with age. The crown tends to be symmetrical and dome-shaped. It is a very popular species for the Christmas tree industry because it is such a full-looking tree. It's drought and heat-resistant and is often used for plantings in the rural and suburban landscapes of the northern United States. The white fir habitats include the ranges of deer, elk, and bear, and mountain beaver habitat has also been correlated to white fir abundance. Many bird species, including bald eagle, the northern spotted owl, brown creeper, and red-breasted nuthatchers are associated with the white fir habitat as well. The white fir trees have been known to live for more than 300 years. And again, it's one of my favorite trees in our forest uh, structure here in Colorado, just because of its fullness, its kind of light bluish haze, and the long, thin, uh, flattened needles. Mm -hmm.